Hello, relatives. Welcome to this week's Schlagbite for the week, March 30th, 2009, entitled The Only Race Remembered. On the day that uh, President Obama set aside $634 billion for health coverage to uninsured millions, I happen to be speaking at a hospital foundation dinner in St. Petersburg, Florida. And I told the audience that it was unclear to me how $634 billion was going to fund comprehensive reform. We're already spending 16% of the gross domestic product on health care. And it's estimated that within a decade, it's going to grow to about 20% of our economy. At that expense, you'd think that we would be the healthiest nation on earth. But we're not. We're not even in the top 20. What more money is going to do is going to continue to support a system based on treating disease rather than promoting health. The overwhelming preponderance of all healthcare expenditures goes for the treatment of chronic diseases, respiratory diseases, cardiovascular, gastrointestinal, endocrine diseases like diabetes and mental disorders. What the current medical system does best, however, is to treat acute disease not these chronic conditions. To have any real impact on those problems, you have to get people to change their behaviors. That means you have to spend time with patients to develop a relationship, to inspire them, to eat better, to stress less, to exercise more. You have to develop a relationship to get them to believe that they can become the principal agents in their own healing. And we can do this only if we change the system like reimbursing doctors for the time they spend with patients or for keeping them out of hospitals rather than prescribing more drugs and more procedures. In any event, after my speech, I am sitting on the veranda of this great hotel overlooking Tampa Bay with one of the attendees. The waiter brings our drinks and my friend lights up a cigarette. Shortly after, the waiter returns and tells her this is a non-smoking facility. And she immediately puts the cigarette out and looking at me somewhat sheepishly says, it's my addiction. We have an intimate, heartfelt connection. She is a competent professional, married, two teenagers at home. She's capable of moving mountains at work. But since she's been 17 years old, she's never been able to quit smoking for more than three months. We talked about all the treatment options, many of which she'd already tried. And we talked about the despair at her feeling hopeless. And before leaving, I said to her that with all her accomplishments and honors, wouldn't it be a shame that in the end, that the only race her children would remember was the one that she dropped out of? As we said goodbye, she whispered, I'm not going to drop out. I told her to keep in touch with me, let me know. We'll see, but making a heartfelt connection, even for an hour, with your doctor is the kind of healthcare system that's gonna promote healing. Stay well. Remember, nobody makes it alone. We're all connected. Have a great week. I say this for all my relations.